Lucy Johnson's 34th birthday, if she had lived. And for her fiance, Mike Mead, judgment day. The jury announces they have reached a verdict after nearly nine hours deliberation. Well, I'm always terrified while I'm waiting for a jury. You can never be sure. People ask criminal defense attorneys all the time, how can you defend somebody that you know is guilty? Trust me, it is much harder to defend someone when you truly believe they're innocent. And here it is, the verdict. Michael Lang me not guilty. All right, members of the jury, thank you very much for your work on this case. Not guilty on all counts. Mike Mead goes from dead man walking to find me the nearest exit. Just thank God that I'm free. I fully expected not guilty. Why were you not surprised when they said not guilty? Because I had sat in the same trial for seven weeks that they had. And? And if I was sitting on that jury, I would have been going, you know, what in the world is going on with this case? So 2020 gathered 11 jurors and returned them to their seats in the same courtroom for their first group interview, where it was clear that the defense strategy worked. I don't understand how they were able to come to trial and not even give a second look at Jim Spelock. A key element for the jury, Lucy's own words in her journal. So Lucy Johnson herself told you a juror, Jim Spelock did it. If anything were to happen to me, Spelock did it. I mean, she wrote it down. He wanted that son named after him, and she wouldn't do it. And they thought Spelock had motive. The women's clothing Lucy said he bought for himself. James Spelock was backed into a corner at this point. I, I think, think even des desperate in that he needed to stop that from being out in public. The jurors tell us in all Lucy's messages from the grave, they found not one word against Mike Mead. There was never any entry in any of her journals about him doing anything aggressive to her at all. I thought the state was really grasping at straws. The evidence was overwhelming as far as Mike Mead not doing it. And that's hard to hear, isn't it? That's hard to hear. The jurors saved their harshest criticism for the police, comparing them to a classic fictional North Carolina law enforcement buffoon. I called him Barney Fife. In my mind, I said, we got a bunch of, a bunch of Barney Fife's. I think Barney's they, they, got, they don't have yeah, a clue what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They blew it. And I think that's what bothers me about this case the most. And we do have a horrendous murder case that has not been solved. It leaves you wondering. So whether it was bad police work or prosecuting the wrong man or perhaps the perfect crime that allowed Mike Mead to get away with murder, one thing for sure, no one thinks Lucy Johnson got justice. Since Mike Mead has been tried and acquitted, mm -hmm. and since you don't believe that there's anybody else out there that could have done the crime, Lucy will never get justice in your mind. Not in my mind. Today, Jim Spelock has full custody of his son, Kaysen, who after Lucy's death, he renamed James Spelock III. Mike Mead says, although he is free, he lives under a cloud of suspicion. All right, well, we interviewed Meeks, okay? <laughs> to this day, he thinks you did it. Well, to this day, he's an idiot. Where there's smoke, there's fire. The evidence is clear. I have no respect for Meeks, so. You know, what Meeks thinks, I don't really care what I think matters is what the 15 jurors that heard the evidence think. Meade has moved from South to North Carolina trying to live a new life. Did it bother you that even though you were acquitted, there are people there to this day who believe that you got away with murder? Well, sure, it would bother anybody. Oh, it's excruciating. It's excruciating. Right now, Meade is in the middle of an open lawsuit charging his civil rights were violated by the Gaston County Police, and he was falsely prosecuted. As a result, the police say they cannot comment on a pending legal matter. You ever, ever close your eyes now and, and think about what it would be like if none of this happened? Where would your life be with Lucy right now? Do you do that? Mm. Oh, yeah, of course. But yeah, I would have a wife, a beautiful wife and a little boy, and yeah.
You miss her? You know, yeah, I miss her. The home where Lucy lived and died. Today, just a vacant lot, a driveway that leads to nowhere, like the dead end investigation into her murder. Anything help at all? No, just my faith in God. That one day, the person that did this will have to face him. He's another judge. Where all the evidence will be. Right. Nothing's hidden from him. It'll be exposed.